uh, this week, there's a project that Yergos Lanthamos is, uh, is on board, um, and it's moving along at a really um, positive pace. Um, he's been attached to a couple of projects as of late, um, but this one seems to be taking the lead. So I'll go more into the deets. So um, uh, New Ridge and C, who has a colorful history in, in film production, are getting more auteur-like. Um, they, they produced The Revenant, 12 Years a Slave, Birdman, The Lighthouse as, as of late. And so they picked up the property in 2019. Yergos attaches himself as director in December. And this week it's announced that his writing partner, um, or rather the writer on The Favorite, um, will be penning the project. So I'm talking about the Hawkline monster. And I'm actually quite enthused about this project because it goes in a direction that can expand on the tool set um, and voice of this one of our more, more cherished auteurs. So let's talk a little bit about the Hawkline monster. Sure. I mean, um, it's it seems to be material that it feels a little more Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro than, than Yargos, which is probably why it's that exciting. Um, but it should be said that, you know, even while this film has um, Tony McNamara now um, adapting the book by um, Richard Brodigan, uh, Yargos Lanthimos has a few other projects in the past year that he has that have earned his attention, including um, Pop 1280 and uh, the man in the Rockefeller suit over at Fox Searchlight. So he's got a few irons in the fire. My feeling is that like any director, he's gonna see which one manages to get through all the hurdles it takes to get a movie into production. So there's definitely a linkage here between this perhaps and the Pop uh, 1280 or 1208 um, novel. Um, it does take place in a Western-like setting. Um, whereas that one was, um, I read the book, um, it's much more like a sheriff, it's, 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 it's more smaller and smaller in scope. Uh, this one is, uh, it was proposed originally to Hale Ashby as a spaghetti western. Mm -hmm. And um, it's featuring things like, uh, like rather sci-fi or, or I'll, I'll say occult uh, type activity and um, a lot of random sex and some cool lead characters. Um, so we might be, see, uh, be seeing dual um, um, protagonists, um, gunslingers in this film. Do you think Colin Farrell is something or somebody that we might see here? Could, could we be seeing him re-team for a third time? Sure, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I haven't read the book or anything, but... Um... Colin Farrell in a gothic western. I mean, I'd, I'd be the first in line to see it, but honestly, Yorgos Lanthimos doing a western at all is um, is uh, pretty exciting. So, um, especially one that seems to be, have a bit of a gothic or fantasy feel. So yeah, it's gonna be new territory. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see what he does with it. Some original names that were attached way back when were Jack Nicholson, Dustin Hoffman, and, um, and Clint Eastwood, so it's it's gone the, the gamut in terms of uh, A-listers. Um, yeah, I'm particularly enthused about this, um, and it's also an author that sort of like has his own cult following in a way. Um, and um, yeah, we'll 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 be checking out to see how this first true adaptation um, might pan out. Um, let's move on to the next topic. Hi, I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm editor-in-chief and site owner for IonCinema.com, and this is... Kevin Jaggernaut, contributing writer for The Playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge. 